Hi, One Hour Smart Home here, and today we're going to show you how to set up a Blink Video Doorbell. What's cool about this Blink Video Doorbell is that you can either use it as a hardwired video doorbell if you have an existing doorbell that is wired up and has power to it, or you can use it as a battery powered doorbell just like the other Blink devices. So we're going to go ahead and get this Blink Video Doorbell installed, but before you do that, we ended up getting the kit with a sync module. So there's two ways that you can order this. You can order it as the doorbell or with the doorbell in sync module. Now, if you already have existing Blink cameras, you don't need to get the version with the Blink module because that's what's gonna connect it to the internet. If you do not have any existing Blink cameras or a Blink camera module, you're gonna need to purchase the kit with that module in order to get your Blink video doorbell set up. So now that we've done that, we're ready to start getting this installed. In order to get the Blink camera installed, you wanna make sure that you have the Blink app and that you're logged into it. So we're logged into the Blink app. All you gotta do is download the app online, set up a username and password, and then you're good to go. It's got some of my other cameras here, but you just go ahead and go to the home screen and then you're gonna be able to set this up. So now that we've done that, go ahead and click in the upper corner on the plus symbol on the app and then you're going to be able to choose the device that you want to set up so we've got a couple different devices here we've got a blink video doorbell which is what we are setting up but if you don't already have a blink sync module connected you're going to need to connect that first so we're going to go through the process and click the blink wireless camera system first and then we're going to connect the video doorbell this sync module is what connects the blink video doorbell to the internet so we want to go ahead and click on the Blink wireless camera system right here. And then it says capture the QR code on the device or enter the serial number manually. So we're going to go ahead and scan the QR code that is on the back of the sync module right here. So once we scan the sync module, this is the next screen that showed up. It says a system is a group of devices that can be armed, disarmed, or scheduled together. We're going to go ahead and give this a name. So we're just going to call this doorbell module. And then we're going to go ahead and click next. It says plug in the device and wait for it to be ready. It says they will display blinking blue and then a steady green. So all we need to do here is this is a power port. It comes with a cord and a power adapter. So we're going to go ahead and plug all of this in. So we just plug the sync module in and you can see it's got this blue light, which means that we need to wait for it to get to that blinking blue and steady green, which just happened right now. So it takes about uh, 20 to 30 seconds. Uh, we've got the blinking blue up top here and a green light, which means that this is ready to go. Uh, but if they're not ready, you just have to go ahead and click the reset button on this device, which uh, you can actually push right down here. So now we are ready to go ahead and get this set up. So let's go ahead and click discover device. It says when prompted, tap connect. Now we just need to click okay. We wait for the device to pop up here and then we go ahead and select it and click connect. Now our Wi-Fi network pops up. So let's go ahead and choose the Wi-Fi network that we're going to connect to. Enter your password. Now it's updating the module firmware. Great, it says our Blink Sync module was connected successfully. So now we're ready to get our Blink doorbell set up. So now we can look and see that our Sync module has made that connection. It says that it's connected to the cloud. You can click here. It shows that it is connected. It's online and the firmware is up to date. So let's go back to the app here. And we've got these different options here because I've got different cameras. But now we're just going to go to the doorbell module, which is the device that we just set up. But if you already have a sync module connected, this is where you would get started setting up that Blink video doorbell. You wouldn't need to go through those steps we just went through. But if you don't have an existing Blink camera, you would have followed that same process that we just followed to get to this point. Now go ahead and click in the upper corner on the plus symbol and now we're going to add a device. So we're going to select the Blink Video Doorbell down here and we need to do what we did with the module and now we're going to scan the Blink Video Doorbell QR code. So we've got the Blink Video Doorbell here and the QR code's just on the back so let's go ahead and get that scanned here. 
So we successfully scanned the QR code on the back of the Blink Video doorbell, and this is what popped up. It says a system is a group of devices that can be armed, disarmed, and scheduled together. It's recommended to add a Blink Video doorbell to a sync module for full feature functionality. So we do have that right here. We set up that sync module right here. We've got the Blink Video doorbell and our existing module that we just set up. This one right here, the Blink Sync module that we named doorbell module is popping up right here. So we're gonna go ahead and select that one right here at the top. Now it says set up the Blink Video doorbell, remove the back cover. It comes with the back cover removed. So we're good to go with that. But it does have a little tool that comes in the box that looks just like this. And you can use that to remove the cover at the bottom if you ever need to change the batteries. So we're gonna go ahead, click continue here. And it says insert the AA battery. So it comes with two lithium batteries. We're gonna go ahead and insert those into the back of the device. So we inserted the AA batteries and it says keep the back cover off the Blink Video doorbell for now. We're gonna click continue. It says wait until the LED lights blink red. So we've got some blinking going on. It looks like we might have a red blinking light. Okay, there we go. And it says if the LED light does not blink red after 30 seconds, try replacing batteries. These ones are brand new fresh batteries. So we are good to go and those just came in the package. It says while your LED blinks red, tap continue. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. It says adding your Blink Video doorbell. So let's get this set up. Now we're just waiting for the Blink doorbell to connect to the app. Updating firmware, this will take a few minutes. Great, now our Blink Video doorbell has been added to the app, which means that this is functional and we could go ahead and put the cover on the back. It says, do you want to mount your Blink Video doorbell on your door frame now? I'm gonna go ahead and click maybe later and we're gonna show you how to set this up on your door frame uh, or out by your door or wherever else you wanna put that after we get this set up. So you can click go ahead, mount Blink Video Doorbell now, and it's just gonna go through the same instructions we're gonna show you in a little bit more detail. We're gonna click maybe later right now, and it says you can always find installation steps on your doorbell settings. So let's go ahead, click okay, and let's see if this thing is gonna work. So click right here, and it's then going to take a picture of whatever is going on. And you probably wanna take that plastic off right here, and then you're gonna be able to see what's happening. So so now we just get a shot of what's going on there. And if we wanna click here, then it's going to give us a little video. So once that loads up, okay, there you go. You can see our uh, hands. And we are getting a little bit of a feedback there. So now you can see the video, uh, it is live and you can just mute that uh, speaker if you want right there. And if we wanted to, we could actually talk through the doorbell as well. So. Let's see if that works. And we're just gonna click off on that. So now if we wanted to save this live view, we would just click save over here and it's going to save what we just clicked on so that this is going to be stored in our video footage. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click close. Now, once this is armed, it will record footage whenever motion is detected, but you can also just check it out if you go ahead, press the doorbell here and uh, you'll see that you're gonna get a notification and you just click on that notification and it's gonna show you uh, what's going on at your front door. So let's see if we get the live view there and we do and you can see what's going on here. And if I had the audio on, you would get that as well, but we're getting a ton of feedback with the audio. So we'll leave that off. So let's go ahead, press close. So if you want motion detection, you wanna make sure you leave that on armed and then it's gonna be ready to go. But even if you don't have it armed, you will get a notification every time that doorbell is pressed. And for the time being, we're gonna leave it to disarmed. But uh, once I wanna use this at my front door, I would wanna slide it over to armed. And what that basically means is that whenever motion is detected by this device, it's going to start recording and capturing video for that Blink Video doorbell. And once you've got it set up and installed, you've got some other options down here. You can click on this. It's gonna show you the video clips that you've got. And then you can go through and look at these video clips. You can go here and you can adjust the settings so you can have different 
temperature units. You can have different notification options here. You can click on if you want a dark mode, light mode, a biometric unlock if you want to use your fingerprint. Um, and then you've also got some other settings here. If you want to click on notification options, uh, you can get notified when there's a doorbell press, a general notification, health, local storage, motion notification, scheduled notification, or system offline. So I'm going to leave all those on there for the time being. Uh, obviously, you want to adjust those to whatever your particular situation is. So now that we've gone through the settings, you can go ahead and click here. And this is just the app setting. It's going to show you some information about your email, password, phone number, if you need to change any of this, uh, or if you need to connect anything to another device. So these will actually work with Alexa or your Amazon account. So you can use your Amazon Alexa if you've got a device like a uh Amazon Echo with a screen. Uh, you're going to be able to view the footage on that screen, or you can arm or disarm these devices with Alexa using voice command. So we've got another video that shows you how to connect Alexa to Blink, so go ahead and check that out. Now over here, it's got the Neighbors feature, and this is very similar to the Ring Neighbors feature. In fact, it is the Ring Neighbors feature, uh, so you can go ahead and then just connect this to that so that you would have everything that you would typically have with the neighbors feature on a ring device. Let's go back here, click on the home screen. Now there's some more specific device settings we can adjust by clicking right here. And then we can go ahead and change the name if we wanted to. We're just gonna call this blink uh, front door and click done here. And then it shows our battery levels are okay. Uh, we've got motion detection. You want to enable that if you want to get notifications or have it record when motion is detected. And then you can choose some different zones here, activity zones, privacy zones, um, and you can just click update photo once you get it on your front door. So then you could choose specific zones that you want to be notified when activity is in. And you can use this if you've got a sidewalk in front of your house or a street and you don't want to be notified every time uh, somebody walks by or a car goes by. And then you can have also privacy zones instead of activity zones. And then if you want to just cancel those out, you just click reset activity zone. So we're going to go click off of that. And advanced is just uh, even more detail for those activity zones. So we're gonna go ahead and reset those and click done here. And now we've got some other options. It says the trigger time. So after 10 seconds, it will re-trigger the video. And you can click here. It says after a motion event during which the camera will not detect motion, reduce to have shorter delay between triggers. So if you're getting a ton of motion, you could set this delay to longer, up to a minute. We're gonna leave it down at 10 seconds for the time being and see how that works. Uh, sensitivity, you can adjust the motion sensitivity. You can adjust the clip length. So you can make this all the way over to 25. Let's see if it'll go to 30 seconds, but that will impact battery life. Now, if you do have this hardwired, no big deal. You don't have to worry about the battery life then. Um, you're gonna be good, so you could throw that all the way up to 30 seconds. It says end clip early if motion stops, motion activated LED. So if motion is detected, that LED is going to go on. Um, once again, this does impact battery life, but I do think that's a good deterrent feature Then people do know they're being recorded. Um, but for now, we're gonna leave that off. And then night vision, uh, you've got off, on, auto, IR intensity, we're just gonna leave that on auto, IR intensity medium. If you've got something blocking the IR light that's in here, uh, sometimes you wanna put that down at low and you're not gonna get as much of a reflection at night. But if you don't have anything blocking it, go ahead, set it to high. That's gonna impact battery life once again, but you're gonna get better pictures at night. So just play around with that as needed. Enable audio, speaker volume, enable video recording, yes. And then you've got options for quality. We're gonna go ahead, throw that over to best. Enable photo capture. It says take a photo once per hour. Uh, we're not gonna do that for now. And then we can install this. It says mount without wiring or mount with wiring. We're gonna go ahead and mount without wiring. Um, if you clicked on this, it's just going to give you all the information that you need to go through here. So we're gonna click continue. And uh, now we're just gonna click no on this because we're just gonna show you how to get this set up on the side of your door now. All right, and everything else is ready. So let's go ahead and we're gonna install this Blink Video Doorbell outside and show you just how easy it is to get this mounted. Now, to mount this outside, we have two options. We can mount it flat, just like this, 
or we can go ahead and mount it with the wedge behind and then we can tilt it one direction or the other. So we can tilt it that way and it would be then tilted uh, this direction or if we flip the wedge around then we can tilt it uh, so that it's facing the other direction more towards the door. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and put it flat because it's got a pretty wide angle field of view. But if you want to mount this wedge, you're going to need to install that first. So the wedge right here has a couple of holes where you can put a screw in. So you're going to use those longer screws for the wedge right here. And you're going to screw the wedge in first. And then what you're going to do is install the smaller screws to connect the back plate for the Blink Video doorbell using this plate right here and uh, connect that right here. So the back plate has two screws on it right here. You align those with that. And then you use these little tiny screws. Now this installation, we're setting it up in a battery powered configuration. So the version of the Blink doorbell so the Blink doorbell will work right out of the box, either as a battery powered doorbell or as a hardwired doorbell. It's got these terminals on here on the back. So you could set this up in a hardwired configuration, but this configuration is the battery powered way that we are going to set it up. We're gonna have another video that shows you how to set this up if you wanna hardwire it. So now we're ready to go ahead and just get this base plate installed. So we've got two holes there on the back. You can see one at the top and then there's another one down at the bottom. We're just gonna line that with an existing hole we've already got and go ahead and screw it right in. All right, we've got that screwed on nice and tight on there. Now you should go ahead and mount this other screw. Just put it right here in the bottom and screw it in. But I test out a whole bunch of doorbells, so if I did that with every single doorbell, I'd have about a million holes in my door frame. So I'm just going to leave it with just one for right now while we test out this Blink doorbell. So what you're going to do to put this on is you're going to put it on, you're going to slide down, and then push in. There's a little lever down here at the bottom that's going to catch on the Blink video doorbell. So we're going to put that on, okay, like so, and it'll kind of slide into place, and then you're going to push down, okay, slide down, and you'll hear it click. Let's see if we can't get it to click. There we go. Yep, that's, uh, that's on there. And if you needed to then remove this uh, for whatever reason, you just go down here at the bottom and the tool that's supplied with the doorbell, uh, it's this right here. You would just go ahead, put that in the bottom and you're basically gonna push in and you'll be able to kind of pry it up and off and then you can get that off again. So now we're just gonna go ahead, we're gonna put this in, and then we're just gonna push down, and you'll hear it click in. Now it is clicked in. So now our Blink Video Doorbell has been installed. So thank you for watching this video on how to install your Blink Video Doorbell. If you got any questions or comments, go ahead, throw those in below. Thank you for watching, and if you wanna support us, go ahead, click on that thumbs up or subscribe button. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.